Welcome back to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. Today, the session is all about nutrients in hydroponics. We'll be having a, another video as well on nutrients. This is just a basic that we'll be doing on nutrients in hydroponics. In hydroponics, the nutrients are to be delivered to plants directly in the roots through soilless media and water. This is the actual goal of hydroponic grower. But the goal of giving the ideal amount of nutrients to plants is not as simple as dumping hydroponic fertilizers into the system water. It is actually a science that one has to be very careful with. And there is a reason why we have to be very careful with the nutrient parts. And even that we'll be discussing in our another video. But make sure that you are actually being very careful with the nutrients that you are using in your hydroponic system. Let's go ahead to our next slide here. Now let's look at exactly what plants actually need to live. Plants require 16 elements to power their cell machinery and processes like growth and reproduction that takes place to give the final output. Plants take each element in a different way. 16 plant nutrients are as follows. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These three nutrients are available to plants in the air and water. The next comes nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. These three nutrients are usually available in the main fertilizer. Calcium. Calcium is available to plants from calcium nitrate. Another very common fertilizer is magnesium and sulfur. These two nutrients are available in the form of magnesium sulfate. The next comes copper zinc, boron, molybdenum, iron, manganese and chlorine. The last seven nutrients are required in very small quantities, therefore called as micronutrients. If you do see deficiencies, it will be with iron. Iron can be supplemented through chelate iron only. Anything that could cause toxicity in very high levels is just with molybdenum and chlorine. Also, this is very uncommon. So, we need to be very careful when we blend our nutrients ourselves for our hydroponic system. If a plant is nutrient deficit, it shows symptoms like wilting, chlorosis that is yellowing, bronzing or neurosis that is dead tissues. Different symptoms indicate different deficiencies. Nutrients are available as salts, which makes measuring very easy. For hydroponics, we make mother stocks for tank A and tank B. Lots of people find it confusing at the start, but it is very interesting to learn. Now, here it's a simple example. It's up to you what concentration you require for your mother tank. So everything depends on the concentration that you are making on for the mother tank or you are actually using 500 liters mother tank or 100 liters or 200 liters or even 1000 liters for the big farms. So it's up to you. So I'll just explain the concept of mother tank blend of nutrients here. So now tank A and tank B. The hydroponic nutrient solution is the sole source of nutrients to plants. Therefore, it is important to apply a balanced solution that contains all plant nutrients at the right balance and make sure that you always make your blend yourself. Never trust any suppliers because we never know what they are actually adding and when our plants face stress or they face any kind of deficiencies and when we call those suppliers that your nutrients they are not working fine, they won't go ahead and entertain you and help you out with any issues. So make sure when you are preparing your nutrient recipes, you need to be very careful with the blends that you are actually making for your plants to intake. To run a hydroponic setup, you have two options when it comes to your nutrients. You can purchase a pre-mixed nutrient solution. This point is only for those who want to do hydroponics in a small size at home as a hobby. But if you are going commercially, make sure that you mix your own nutrient solution and make your own blend. Never trust these pre-mixed nutrient solutions. Buying a pre-mixed nutrient solution is a quick fix that works. 
is a wrong myth as we are not sure about how they have blended it. However, mixing your own fertilizer allows you to fine tune the level of each nutrient to your plants in exact requirements and you can save tons of money in the long run. Also making your own hydroponic nutrient solution is easy. It just requires some preparation and a keen eye to learn it. Now understanding the concept of tank A and tank B. In order to create balanced fertilizers we need to take few compounds from the nitrate based nutrients and few from the sulfate based nutrients. To store them for long term as mother stocks we separate them into two tanks known as tank A and tank B. The reason why we keep these salts in separate tanks is because when we mix nitrate based compounds and sulfate based compounds together they form salts which are not dissolvable in water. That's the reason why we make mother stocks in separate tanks of A and B for actually nitrate based compounds and sulfate based compounds. Therefore we take tank A which will only have nitrate based compound like calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate and tank B will have only sulfate based components like magnesium sulfate, manganese sulfate, copper sulfate. So any sulfate based compounds will be in tank B. The whole concept of tank A and tank B is based on the basic concept of the chemistry of nitrates and sulfates. Along with these nutrients which we took in tank A and tank B we need to add micronutrients as well. So either you can make tank C for your micronutrients or you can add iron in chelated form into tank A which actually has nitrate based component. And the reason why we are adding iron in chelated form in tank A just because it's neutral with nitrates. Now if anybody is not capable enough to afford tank C for micronutrients we suggest we add these micronutrients like boron, zinc, manganese, copper, molybdenum into tank B as the salts of these metals are mostly in sulfate form. The salts we buy from the market or local store are very dense and needed to be dissolved in water in order to use them as nutrients for plants. Now here very important we'll be learning the concept I'm only talking about the concepts I'm not telling you how it is done it's simple concept I again repeat we are only dealing with concept of tanks for irrigation right now there is only an example that I'm taking here to understand the concept only so just focus here on the word concept this is a concept not actually the ratio now for the concept part let's take an example here we actually use these nutrients in the ratio of 1 is to 10 is to 100 this is only a concept this is only an example here these numbers are just for understanding and do not give exact measurements to use this is just to understand the concept of 1 is to 10 is to 100 let's say we take 1 gram of calcium nitrate we will mix it into 10 liters of water and we will mix this 10 liters of water in 100 liters of tank of irrigation water in this case 1 is our salt the solution of 10 liter is our mother stock that is tank A or tank B and the 100 liters water is the stock in our irrigation water this actually 100 liters is being used to water your plants in your hydroponic system. In the future, while running our hydroponic farm, we will create mother stock of 100 liters or 200 liters or 500 liters or 1000 liters for tank A and tank B separately. That depends on the size of the farm that you are actually planning to commercialize. Hope your concept of tank A and tank B is clear. Now, we would just end the session here and I hope that this would have cleared the 
actual concept of tanks that we actually use for irrigation for our hydroponic system and also cleared the concept of mother tanks that is tank A and tank B and irrigation tank for your hydroponic system. We'll be learning about the actual nutrient parts in our next video. So let's go ahead and meet in our next session. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.